What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of the Mighty Brian Show. Here with E3! That's right. It's E3 time. Video games galore. Nerds come together. Rejoice. Hate. Everything together. And first of all, let me get this out of the way. Everything's going to be delayed. And when the games come out, the graphics are going to be dumbed down. We already know this. Let's just get it out of our system. Rage right now. This is rage mode. Okay, good. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to talk about my predictions, maybe some surprises, and shit we already know that's already going to be talked about. So let's begin with Star Wars Battlefront. It looks good. I'm a little bit scared. I, I definitely, first thing I'm going to do when I hop in a Star Wars game is I'm going to blast some fools, and I'm going to hop in an X-Wing and fly around, and I'm going to blow up the Death Star myself. That was always my favorite part. I know I could do that in the old school arcade games, but still to me, I want to see it on new, fully grown PlayStation 4 graphics. But, of course, we're not going to get that. Maybe in a DLC or an expansion pack. You know how EA likes to milk us for money. So, I, I hope it's good. I really do. But I don't think it's going to be that great. Next up is Uncharted 4. We know it's going to come out around March time, I believe. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy it. It's you know I love the Uncharted series. It's a great series. Nathan Drake's an awesome guy. Nathan Fillion, I hope you really play him in the movie when they make it. Okay? The directors, if you're watching, get Nathan Fillion. Um, we'll probably see a lot of it. We'll probably see a lot of more gameplay. We only saw that little short cut scene last year where he was like, Climbing a cliff, and we saw, of course, like the cinematic intro. Um, but I really hope uh, my Charter 4 is good. I'm definitely going to be buying it. Um, speaking of the 4s, uh, I believe we're going to see a lot more of Mass Effect 4. Uh, I think Mass Effect is a great series. I loved, loved 2 and 3. I never played 1 because I didn't have it on Xbox. Uh, but I definitely will buy. Uh, the reissue package, what we know is probably going to come. That's probably going to be an announcement right there. Ha! Ah, said it. Thought of it just when I was talking. Uh, I really hope. Yeah, so, you know, in Mass Effect 4, it's going to be a great, great, uh, great game. Uh, if we know it's a new story, um, I think they will introduce uh, characters from the first three into uh, Mass Effect 4, but we know we're not going to see Shepard. At least that's what they're teasing us about. We know Biowell likes to sneak in some shit. Um, on news, with keeping with the, the space mythology uh, subject right now, uh, we're going to get uh, the new uh, announcement, officially announcement, of the Destiny expansion. Um, it's the, the Taken King. Uh, I, you're supposed to fight Crota's, Crota's father, uh, Oryx. Uh, we know about Oryx a little bit from his little circle shine that you could get warped into a different dimension uh, from that level on the moon. Uh, I'm going to buy it, of course, because I love Destiny. I love playing with my friends, the Immortal Guardians. You know you rock. Um, it's just going to be a fun, you know, a fun social game. Uh, I hear there's going to be a new class, a new subclass that you could uh, add on to. Uh, and it's going to be, each one's going to have one. Like, you know, with the Hunters go hunters uh have you know the sun singer which is you know solar we have uh the arc blade which is you know art so we're going to get a void one so each class is going to get something that they're not um i think that's gonna be great it's already supposed to be like 40 bucks which isn't bad i've already spent too much on this game as you see right there that corner i have uh the box that i bought which was my first unboxing video and my first YouTube video somewhere there on YouTube went. Watch it. Um, jumping on the uh, the Tom Clancy games, uh, The Division. I really want The Division. I've been wanting it since I first saw it, especially that like emotional like six minute like uh, cinematic trailer they put out. Uh, dude, that's deep. It was a deep trailer and it definitely makes me want to play it. Hopefully it's not going to be like a fucking uh, Dead Island where the trailer is on like the best thing ever about the game. Uh, but we know Ubisoft. Ubisoft likes to uh, screw with us. Dumb down graphics and delayed already. Actually, it's already been delayed, so I don't want that. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, people are going to be wanting Rainbow Six Siege. It's been a long time since we had a Rainbow Six. We saw um, the alpha kind of like beginning stages uh, gameplay last year, which it looked really awesome. Um, 
I think the thing that will be great about Rainbow Six, and uh, if they have a lot of maps, I mean a lot of maps, don't like Call of Duty of us and give us six maps, keep on rotating. No, give us like 12, give us fucking 20 maps, that'd be fucking awesome. Even if there were small maps or big maps, I want to see a lot of maps in this game, and I think that's going to be the make it or break it part of uh, Rainbow Six. Keep it going with my list. I have a uh, Tony Hawk 5. Tony Hawk 5 will be coming out soon. Um, people were done with Tony Hawk. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro, where you bought that board. Uh, I actually bought it and I probably used it for two days and I threw it against the wall and because it was a piece of shit. Uh, uh, my favorite Tony Hawk games was uh, Underground and uh, I think it was called American Wasteland. Don't uh, quote me on that. Uh, but I liked it. I liked the ones where like it was actually a story, and you progressed it as a character, and as you moved on, you know, you met all the other like pro skaters. You learned new tricks, and like it collected stuff on the way. And it was really cool. Um, I think two was my, the only one I liked, where you just went on different levels and skated around. Uh, so if it is a character-driven story, I think it'll be great. But I think they're just going back to the normal break uh, basics. Um, Let's talk about uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, no Man's Sky, it's, I think it's going to be the most beautiful game that uh, PlayStation would be putting out. Uh, and the fact that you could go explore any planets, and a planet that's unexplored, it will be named after you. So if I fly out there and you see a planet called Thunder Road, that's me. That was my planet, all right? So I discovered it before you. Got there first. Dibs. Um... <laughs> And so let's talk about uh, Fallout 4. We know it's official now. We know it's out. We've seen uh, like a three-minute trailer, I believe it was to it. Uh, people are talking shit about the graphics. I could kind of see their part of it, but still, you know, that's just in development. You know, games are always in development now with patches and shit that you get put out. So uh, I think Fallout 4 will be great. It just depends how big the maps are. And people are already probably going to try to speedrun that shit once they figure it to, like, sell it. As long as I don't screw up like I did in Fallout 3 of my save points, uh, I'll probably buy Fallout 4. Alright, so, here are my surprise games. Things that I think they have, no one ever has announced. Uh, some of my actually have been in development for years now. Uh, I think they're actually going to knock them out of the park this year. So, let's go with number one, is Bioshock. I think uh, they're going to put out a new Bioshock game. We don't know what it is, you know, it's, we had underwater, we had the air, uh, you know, a, a land game would be any normal, like, kind of first person shooter, uh, but I think a Bioshock is going to be, in a make an appearance, uh, they probably want to put a Bioshock game on the PS4, a brand new one. Um, let's go with the agent, the agent, the rock star has been working on the agent since Mafia, since, uh, L.A. Noir. so, it's from what I remember, the agent was going to be kind of like a, a hitman, but less more complicated with the mechanics. Uh, but I do, I would love to play the agent. Uh, there was no screenshots, I don't believe, to it, just like the logo when they first announced it a long time ago. Um, as of every year, Last Guardian. You know, people are going to want to say, oh, you know, Last Guardian, this is the year, you know, PS4, blah, 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 blah. They've been saying that every year. They've been teasing it since, shit, fucking 2012, I want to say. Uh, so it's time we actually see some real footage and a confirmed date of The Last Guardian, because people want that game. Uh, I never played uh, the ISO's last game. I never played uh, ISO. I never played, uh, uh, what was it, um, Shadow of the Colossus. I didn't play that game that much. Um... I, you know, this is too complicated, but I think The Last Guardian might be good, just because you have a dog that wants to be like Falcor. I love you, Falcor. You're my bro for life. And every year, this is my personal prediction. I always say this every year. It never happens. Ubisoft keeps screwing me over, but I really, really think this could be the year for Beyond Good and Evil 2. I want a Beyond Good and Evil 2. I love that game. It was one of the first games I actually played on uh, GameCube and actually got kind of like emotionally attached to like the characters because uh, the story was just such a good driven one. Um, but yes, Beyond Good and Evil 2. That's my my personal surprise prediction 
which probably not going to happen. So I'm, I'm already upset and sad tear. Um, as always, thank you for watching my video. Please hit that like button. Please hit that follow button. Uh, shout out to the Geek Feed. Shout out to MF Dude. You know you guys are my bros. I'm Mortal Guardians. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like the new intro I added. You know, it was good. It took me a while to make it. So, awesome guys. Take care. Have a good day. Peace out.